five seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong just reported back. It's been a real smooth countdown. We passed the 50-second mark. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. You can see the water down the stage the tanks now pressurized. Now. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12. 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It looks good, Wally. Somebody must be leaving the arm. Building shaking. We're getting that buffeting we've become used to. What a moment. Man on the way to the moon. Oh boy is right. What a moment. That is still the tallest and most powerful rocket ever built. And with that successful launch, the three astronauts aboard Apollo 11 began their historic ascent into space. Four days later, because that's how long it takes to get to the moon, an estimated 650 million people watched from Earth as the lunar module touched down on the surface of another world. CBS News used a simulation because, of course, there were no cameras on the moon to capture the landing, but cameras were ready and rolling for the historic first steps. The audio was live from NASA. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twin. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Ooh. Oh, boy. Thank you. You're wow. looking good here. Mm. What? <laughs> okay, we're going to be busy for a minute. Armstrong is on the moon. Yeah, Neil Armstrong. 38 year old American standing on the surface of the moon on this July 20th, 1969. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I think that was Neil's quote. I didn't understand it. <laughs> no, one small step for man, but I didn't get the second phrase. History delayed there, if only for a moment. Of course, Neil Armstrong's iconic words were, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Peggy Whitson is back with, uh, with me, and I'm joined now by uh, CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood. Uh, Bill, when you're watching something like that, uh, what goes through your head? You mean besides the chills that go up and down my back? Um, I really think about it in the context of history in general. You know, the, the historian Arthur Schlesinger once said that 500 years from now, the 20th century maybe gets one paragraph in a history book, and the Apollo 11 mission is going to be there. Yeah. It's a seminal event in human history, and we were privileged enough to be